Hello there, I am Dragroll with my Pokemon Diamond Redo and the last Pokemon on the Lost Tower. And we got HMO 4 Strength. Which, um, I can't even teach to Badoo yet because he's not even a B barrel. I think you have to have a B barrel uh, to, to uh, teach it strength, you know? Because B doof can't learn strength uh, as a B doof, you know? And I looked it up and I can't really do the thing I wanted to do. So we're going to take on Swaston Town because I. You can't get you can't use strength outside of battle till you get the sixth gym badge, which is pretty long ways to go from here. So that's honestly gonna have to wait. So uh, I thought I could do it earlier, but I guess not. Um, let's talk to you. Every Sunday I visit the Lost Tower. Okay, cool. Uh, here's the yeah, this guy, this old elder dude will give you the t Poke Chap for Pokemon history, I believe, for like the last twenty Pokemon you've caught. Attitude Pokedex, including evolved Pokemon too. Uh, I'm the daycare man. We look after the precious Pokemon of other trainers. Uh, if you'd like us to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. I thought one of these people gave you the Poketrap. Was it you? Yeah, this is the guy who gives you the Poketrap. Nice. So yeah. Yeah, the Poke the Pokemon History app shows the most recent obtained Pokemon. So, if I go to my Poketch, which the bottom screen is on the big box now, um, somewhere here. Now I just passed it up. Dang it! Okay, there we go. So. I have the eight Pokemon on that list. Jeez, okay. So I have Chimchar, Bidoof, Bidoof, I mean Bidoo, uh, Shinx, Monferno, because Chimchar evolved, Buizel, Murkrow, and Bronzor. So that's pretty cool. So it actually tells you the f the last 12 Pokemon, I guess you could say. I'm pretty sure that's the one for 12 on that time. So that's pretty cool. It's something to have, I guess. Only really not that important though okay so let's start with um trying to get the trying to get some items i guess oh, by the way if you go to the daycare right here like the the old or uh, elder dude said you can talk to the daycare lady and show her a pokemon for you like there's a pokemon uh not put none i'll skip out on that for right now maybe later if i pokemon needs training or something i don't know So if we go here for the first ledges, we get in this house. Yeah. Um, your your Pokemon has a quirky nature. Did you know that Pokemon's nature determines how it will grow? Ah, huh. nice. Uh, the area uh, had many Pokemon from the olden days. This area had many Pokemon from the olden days. They say there was big Pokemon uh, ranches around these parts. Cool. Nice. And I have to go all the way back around now. I think you, I can get the Pokemon Seals case uh, in this part too. Because it's right here I think. So I think it's in this house coming up, if I to remember, if I could remember, yeah. Let's go in the house. Okay, uh, you can ca customize Pokeballs by affix affixing uh, steel seals on them. Oh, you don't have a seals case? Well, here you go. We get the seals case, which we'll get to later, with ball capsules and everything, but that's not until like, the last city, uh, with the gym badge. That's going to be a while, honestly. But nonetheless, we'll get there when we get there. If we go around one more time. There we go. We go all the way. To, just take the path I'm taking to get to here. So that's pretty cool. Here's the Celestian Ruins. I'm pretty sure we don't want to involve Pokemon here, but I could be wrong. I'll have to see in a second. Here's a Repel, which is really cool. So check all the rocks. I always check the rocks every playthrough because I forget which rocks have hidden items and which rocks do not. Okay, that's the right way. I'm going to go to the um, bottom one now. Nice. Yeah, this one. 
See, this one doesn't have a rock, but uh, this this one doesn't have an item, but like a check just in case. Uh, there's something really weird about these ruins. That that's why I like coming here. But come come into my house after. I'll give you some sweet, uh, neat seals. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure to do that actually, for uh, the the seals case and everything. This is the right way again. So if we go right here. No item there. Okay. Okay, we got this. Take on this ruined maniac, I believe is what his his trainer type is. Uh, this place is tombing with unknown. There has to be some re meaning of this. The truth is out there. I'll start by search. I'll, I'll search my search by battling you. Okay, so everyone's level 24 now. I'm gonna put Rose up to the front though. So let's see, let's go down, I guess. Yeah. Here's the escape rope. Now I have four escape ropes now. Uh, I guess everyone count, every, every bit helps, I guess, to have another escape rope. Yeah, this is the right way. Okay, let's go down again. Let's go to the other stairs. Yeah, there we go. There's no item in this rock. Okay. Let's go down here. Dang it, that's the right way. Okay, I'm trying to find the wrong way first. <laughs> there we go, let's get down the steps. No hidden item here, I guess. Nope, okay. Just checking, you know, you never it never hurts to check, I guess. Especially if you if you don't memorize which rocks have hidden items in them, which rocks don't. Here's a big mushroom. Probably still that Pokemon, you know? It's pretty cool. Dang it. Here are the unknown. Um, I really don't recommend using them on a team, but it's really cool if you can try to collect all the letters of the alphabet and the question mark and the exclamation point. Um, I'll, I'll probably just faint this for just to show how little experience you'll get, but it's a little bit more experience than a magic card, but I'm pretty sure they don't give a great experience. So here's an E for example. It's all capital letters too, so keep that in mind. Dang it, this is gonna take a while. Let me just edit out this, I guess. Yeah, and it only knows hidden power. I don't even think it can learn any ATM moves. It only knows hidden power, and it can only use hidden power. I'm like 95% sure that I can't learn any moves by TM, but I could be totally wrong on that, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Okay, this should do it. This absorb should faint the unknown. Let's see if it does though. Can't speak too soon. And the unknown goes down. Okay, cool. So let's see how much experience it gave me. It gave Rose 185 or 165. Not very much experience, like I said before. This is the right way. I know. I lost track where I was at actually. Shoot. Total lost track. Oh yeah, no, this is the right way, okay. So if we go up, this is the right way again, okay, yeah. I had to think there for a second. Yeah, there's no hidden item there. There's no hidden item there, okay. That's cool. Just no I'm there, okay. I'm just searching the, the rocks, I guess. Okay, I'll come back to this room in a second because I want to go up here. No hidden I'm there, okay, cool. 
So I can go back down here. And let's read this first. Uh, friendship. All lives. All. L O G. All loggies. I can't read really unknown that well, honestly, as you can see. Uh, touch. Other. All lives. Touch other uh what lives to uh to create something uh what does it say and I don't know what that says. A N E W and new and I don't even know alone. I don't know. I can't read unknown that well. So here's um a red candy, so that's really worth picking up. Here's an odd incense. Which I think what does odd sense? I think it's a whole lot of to either boost up dark or psychic type moves or something. Psychic type moves, okay cool. I'll give that to Bronze, actually. And it's weird because they give you a mind plate here, too, which is also a psychic type moves. I guess if you have like two psychic teams, two psychic Pokemon on your team, or two Pokemon with psychic type moves on your team. Yeah. So I didn't read the inscription on the plate, but that's okay. Here's a nugget, nice. Okay, I'm gonna use a escape rope just so I don't have to go all the all those stairs again. And plus, I have four escape ropes now, so. Might as well use one now. Like it zooms in on us when we spin. Awesome, we're gonna get dizzy. Not really though, we're not gonna get dizzy. Yeah. And uh, I think later on, we'll get up to there, but like I think you have to catch all the unknown. But I'll get to that later on how that works. So I'll go into more detail when we get to that point. Which is actually coming up somewhat soon, I guess you could say. So let's um... Let's go to the Pokemon and sell some items, I guess. Why not? So... Um... Let me see here. Let's sell the Nugget, of course. And the Big Mushroom. And, yeah. And let's just sell the item, battle items. Oh, we don't have more battle items. Do we? I, was, I, I clicked too fast and just double check. Yeah, we, okay, we don't have any more battle items. Okay, to sell. Okay, that's cool though. That's cool. But I think I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been then my Pokemon Diamond Walkthrough Guide, uh, Redux Walkthrough Guide part. And the next part will take on what is the route that's actually coming up next. Uh, but yeah, I think we might have to split into two parts because it's really long, Route 2 or 10. Because it's really long and there's a lot of battles and trainers and stuff. And a lot of stuff to cover. So yeah, this has been Giant Go again. I would like to wish you again goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide.